In this video, we will use the Field Service Agent template to showcase two Honeycode features, Rowlinks and Picklists. These make data modeling lookups and app building a breeze. We'll start in the work orders table to show how row links and pick lists work in your tables. We see the customer column cells contain blue text and chevrons. These signify that the cells in the customer column are row links. You can think of this as a more powerful version of a VLOOKUP. While typical spreadsheet VLOOKUPs return a single value, Honeycode's row links return an entire row of data from another table. The Column Formats panel is where we configure row links. The most common way to leverage row links is by using a pick list. Pick lists allow you to specify which rows are eligible to be linked, which can be either all the rows from a table or a filtered list of rows. Here, we see the rows from the customer's table have been linked and enabled in a pick list. Once the pick list has been configured, a drop-down menu of rows is now available in the cell. Click on a row, and the row link, again, that's the entire row of data, will be returned to the cell. This status column is also formatted as a pick list from the M underscore status table, allowing you to select either open or closed. Having a central status table like this can be handy if you were to have let's say, five tables that needed a status column. Instead of manually configuring a dropdown for each table, you can just create one table with a column of status options as shown and connect all five tables to it with columns formatted as a pick list. One of the reasons row links are so powerful is that you can access data within them similarly to how you access data within tables. This is sometimes referred to as dereferencing. Let's say you wanted to look up and return a value from the phone number column in the customer's table. To do this, you simply type an equal sign in any cell, click the blue text of the row link you want to access, click the blue plus sign of the column you want to grab, and click tab. The data appears in the cell, similar to a lookup. It's a quick way to get just the data you need. Now, let's take a look at how to get a pick list in your app so that your app users can select from just the data they need from a drop down menu. If we look at the Any Company HVAC app and go to the New Customer screen, we see that the state field uses a pick list. Remember, pick lists are a drop down menu of row links. We can see how this is set up in Builder. The data cells display is formatted as row links to the M states table. When row links are sourced from a table, the first column in the table will be shown in the app's pick list. If we navigate to the new order screen, we see two pick lists in the customer section. Whichever customer this variable is set to triggers that particular customer's corresponding addresses as selections in the address pick list. In Builder, we can see that the address pick list is using a filter instead of a table as its data source. This filter is telling Honeycode to go to the D properties table, and once in the D properties table, to scan the customer column and return the row link that matches the customer variable, meaning whichever customer is selected in the customer pick list. Pick lists in Honeycode by default show the first column of the row link, so the address column will display in the app. When Alejandro Rosales is selected, it shows his two addresses. When Mary Major is selected, it shows her address. Pick lists make for an intuitive app user experience and limit the selection to just the data you want. Thanks for watching.